This is Rob Tebbett for Boxing Social. I'm delighted to be joined today by the smooth sound of boxing. <laughs> John Rawling, we're here at Belfast at the Tyson Fury Francesco Pianetta press conference. Hi, John. Very good, thank you. I enjoyed it. I mean, Tyson was in fantastic form, wasn't he? He was, he was. It must have been a nice change for you not to be the most charming man at the top table. <laughs> he's, he's great. I mean, he's a people person. And he, you can see by the way in which he, he spoke to everybody, spoke to the fans, spoke to the press, spoke to you. You know, he's, he's in great form. He's enjoying being back at the centre of things, being back in the spotlight. And uh, now, of course, having been uh, linked very obviously, very publicly with a potential world title fight against Deontay Wilder, He's got real focus and he knows that he's got to get through Pianetta on Saturday night and look good in the process. How important is it that we've now got Tyson Fury not only back in the heavyweight division but also linked or apparently on the verge of such a big fight with Deontay Wilder? What does that do to the division? Well, it's massive, isn't it? I mean, the, the perception is, rightly or wrongly, I don't know exactly what the ins and outs of it are but the perception is that somebody in the Anthony Joshua camp be it the promoter be it the fighter himself be it his trainer didn't fancy the idea of him fighting Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury stepped up to the plate and for for boxing fans they'll say well he's prepared to do it and if he goes and wins it, he's the linear champion. If he goes and beats Deontay Wilder after making a statement, as he hopes, on Saturday night against Pianetta, if he can do that, then suddenly he's in a very, very strong place indeed in the affections of the boxing public to say, I'm the genuine champion. Just want to touch on something that you said to me off camera um, about Francesco Pianetta as an opponent. He's six foot five. He's a mm. southpaw. He's mm. been in with Vladimir Klitschko. He's been around the block for a long time. This is a different proposition altogether from Sefa Seferi. You said to me that you feel that Tyson maybe appreciates that, maybe he's slightly more nervy this time than he was. Is that something that you'd agree with? Well, I, I think any fighter would tell you that to be at their best, there needs to be an element of a fear factor. And he's in against a guy this time who's got, is it 35 wins, four defeats, one draw, 21 wins inside the distance. You know, so this guy can punch a bit. He's, he's been around, he's got some good wins on his record, and Tyson knows that. He's a... <laughs> <laughs> just, just had Frank Warren photobomb my, my interview. That was, that was, that was interesting. Um, can't remember where we were, John, so just pick it up wherever you like. <laughs> where do I go from there? Yeah, he's a southpaw, so he's going to be awkward. That's going to create difficulties of its own. And, uh, you know, Tyson's got a chance here, though, to make a statement. Wilder's going to be at ringside, I'm told. He's going to be working with our team for BT Sport. And uh, he's got the... the ideal opportunity Tyson to show him exactly what he's about and to make a statement I think it's fair to say that while Francesco Pianetta is, is, a, is a solid test certainly for a second fight in two and a half years um, the, the difference between a Francesco Pianetta and a Deontay Wilder does seem to me fairly clear should we say um, do you think that the Deontay Wilder fight could potentially be too much too soon for Tyson Fury? Well, it's obviously a, a talking point, isn't it? Because uh, I think everybody expected that uh, he was going to have four or five fights before he went into a fight of this stature. But Tyson wants it. He believes he can win it. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he, he is a, a, an outstanding boxer. Let's not uh, underestimate the boxing ability of Tyson Fury. Wilder is an orthodox, he's got a big right hand, he is a southpaw, and he's the champion. And clearly it's a, a massive ask for Tyson Fury. But I've watched this sport for a long time now, and I can tell you, Tyson has got a great chance in that fight. If he can stay away from that big right hand, it's quite possibility he might just, quite possibly, he might just outbox Deontay Wilder. It's not impossible that he comes away from that with a fantastic win and get a world championship belt back. OK, well, first things first, Tyson Fury versus Francesco Pianetta this Saturday, Windsor Park, Belfast. Smooth voice of boxing, John Rawling. Thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Look forward to catching up with you some stage, probably tomorrow. Cheers, mate. I'll be talking soon. Cheers. Thanks, John.